Hey everyone, Living in Furnace here, and welcome to uh, a sort of finale. There's more of the game, as you know. We got Kanto, but of course, we have the Pokemon League. And I have. I was thinking of training my Pokemon more, but the funny thing is that uh, the total level, like if you add them all up, it's like. 256, which is a funny number, you know, it's, <laughs> if you calculate that into like an NES, the NES thinks it's, oh, it's just one because it can't go over 255, that's kind of a running joke, and also because I, it, it, on average, they're like at 24, 20, I mean 42, <laughs> which is appropriate because the first Elite Four member has a uh, Pokemon of 42. Although another one, another person in this league will have Pokemon at level like 50, I think. So that's why I have level 49 going on. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Um, I think I got my items. Let's go. Oh, and don't forget to turn on the uh, battle style. Oh wait, no, it's uh, not that. Although maybe maybe I'll need that. <laughs> I might turn that on. But uh, for now, um, let's get started with Will. <clears throat> so before I really get to this, um, speaking of going around the world, uh, Baseball Boy has been playing through this game. He's had a for alligator on his team and uh, and also a Hypno is. I think his, kind of his strongest is his Hypno, he's been working on that. Uh, I think at the time of recording, which should be like a, a week before I upload, um, Baseball Boy is like halfway through Kanto. Um, got a good team going on, <laughs> got, a, got a jump bluff of, of his own, interesting choice. As well as a Dratini, tough, uh, tough Pokemon to train. Uh, I mean, a Dragonair, actually. He eventually gets it to a Dragonair. Uh, I was not expecting that. I was. I, part of the reason why is because I just want to show off that uh, this Zatu actually... Well, it has Quick Attack. Interestingly enough, the guide has uh, images and descriptions of each of the Elite Four. Uh, so, this trainer's team are all dual types to include the Psychic type. If you attack each Pokemon's other type weaknesses, you should have no problems. So, they're apparently assuming that we don't have an Umbreon or some other um, dark type or dark type move, perhaps. You know, like a, as I mentioned, a Feraligator using Bite or maybe Crunch. I don't know if that's in this game. Uh, that works out pretty well. There we go. Get uh, some damage in. For example, attack Zatu with an electric type, because flying types are weak against them. Yes, they are. I guess I'll keep going with this. Yeah, I, he's 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 ignoring the uh, the type um, barrier. You know, the the type resistance. Um, a very powerful psychic or dark type Pokemon. Level 55, level 55 or higher. That's higher than, as I mentioned, than the highest level Pokemon we're gonna fight in here. A very powerful one could be used to combat the entire team on his on its psychic type. Yeah, I guess. Um. I guess a psychic type could work. Um. A Hypno, for example. <laughs> a Hypno could guard against those uh, psychic attacks very well, uh, and it could also um, headbutt or strength, maybe. I'm not sure if it learns that. Okay, well, Bead has uh, started off very nicely, even though, even uh, despite it being so low level. Way to go, Bead! Um, maybe I'll keep doing this, because it looks like these Pokemon are going to keep using these special attacks. It's, uh, it's an interesting choice, and it also matches my preference not to, uh, over-level, you know? I would rather use a Hyper Potion, you know? He keep, keep, keep the, the max potions for some other day. 
uh, when I have these Pokemon for something else, you know. Alright, hopefully we're not getting frozen by that Ice Punch. That is a possibility. I think I have a, an Ice Heal, or maybe a Full Heal. Oh. Alright, Double Slap is not gonna hurt very much. And yeah, that's a bit much. Come on, just... there we go. Okay, Ice Punch does count as a special move. The critical hit, and you froze me. Um, hmm. What Pokemon is good against this? Eddie is actually probably weak to that ice move. A Shucky, you know what, let's just go with Shucky, right? You know, what, what could possibly go wrong? Although this guy does have a water type, I should be aware of that. But Chucky is a strong one. Uh, and it learned Rest a couple of levels ago. So that will probably come in handy. Uh, you know, because this thing doesn't take that much damage. Although now we're going roll out. So we are going to take a couple hits. So I guess this maybe wasn't the best idea. Uh, no, I don't think I can take another roll, but the uh, Psychic. So... Shucky is not that good. Hmm. Oh, well, it did some damage. Maybe Jackalogus can finish this thing off. Kind of going over level, but whatever. You know, at this point, I, I kind of, I, I, on average, I'm at, I'm at level, kind of, sort of, yeah. But I did finish off the other things. Um, I actually looked up uh, what the Pokemon this person has. I think this thing has Body Slam, maybe? Anyway, um, I guess I'll put up the barrier, just, just to be safe. Then do the Confuse Ray, because that's a good idea. Oh, yes, of course, Psychic. And also, oh boy, this is an Exeggutor. Exeggutor are very powerful. If you've seen my, um, my, um, uh, Soul Silver, Pokemon Soul Silver playthrough, I think it was Soul Silver, yeah. Uh, I, I just used Psychic type, except for a couple things, you know, surfing around and such. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. But. Wait, no, I think I, I used Water type, um, Slowbro for that. Anyway. I did use an Executor and eventually had a very powerful uh, Leaf Storm move, and that was just incredible. Um, I I'm, I'm just gonna go with Infernus. Just keep keep the keep the Ice Pokemon for later. You know, we got Flame Wheel, which is still the only Fire type move that this thing has. It's it's really unfortunate, but you know that's how it is with these fire types in this game. Wow. Eight minutes already and it's we're still on one of these. Eh, I guess I'll put up a leer. This thing will surf and that will hurt. Okay, okay. I don't mind if you do that. It's better than Curse, because Curse would actually undo the Leer I did and give it some extra uh, power. Although I don't think this thing would really work with physical attacks. Maybe Headbutt, as I mentioned. Kind of, kind of odd that so many Psychic Pokémon use Headbutt. Psychic, I understand, you know, because they're Psychic Pokémon, of course. <laughs> it's a powerful move, you know. I don't think the, uh... Well, the, the rest of the Elite Four won't be this tough, I think. I, I, I find... I find Will to always... To, or to usually be really tough, in a way. Um... On the bright side, uh, there's the special split. So... Um... That Amnesia didn't increase its special attack. So the Psychic wasn't that bad. But, uh, yeah, that was a tough one. 
I got to, I have to admit. Okay. <clears throat> uh, sleep. That's not, oh, here we go. Yeah, I'd rather not use a, uh, a full restore just yet. Oh, I have rare candies. Uh, maybe I'll do some later. Um, maybe. But for now, I have two fainted Pokemon, and uh, and also one more here that's hurt a lot. All right, I've healed up after that uh, tough battle. Uh, so the next one is in the forest. He's um, a familiar face from um, days, years past. Uh, and I will put Infernus in front because this guy uh, does not just specialize in si uh, poison type Pokemon, but you'll have some others. Um, <clears throat> it can also be dangerous with poison, which is why I have my uh, Typhlosion ready, because I'd rather not have to rely on weaker moves and have to deal with poison. That That's a bit much, you know. <clears throat> Can't really mess around with that. So, Ariados, he's got a uh, bug type. I think he's got three bug types, apparently. But he's kind of evenly split between... Well, yeah, he actually has more um, poison types than bug types, really. Uh, so, yeah, we got, we got some weaknesses, you know. Koga uses bug types. Well, as I said and poison types, and with his first moves, he will try to poison your Pokemon. He'll also try to confuse your Pokemon, well we've already had some of that, that's fun, leaving them somewhat helpless. Take him out as quickly as you can with your psychic types and fire types. The longer the battle goes on, the less likely it is that you'll emerge victorious. You're gonna do this? So the Fortress, I, I wish I'd kind of mentioned earlier, is a bug steel type. It's one of the very few steel types that is somewhat easy to get. Well, I mean, of course the easiest is like Magnemite and Magneton. You just find it on a route, and then as I mentioned, Pineco, which evolves into Fortress, you have to get you have, you have to headbutt some trees next to Azalea Town, which is a bit of uh, an issue. And there's also Skarmory, which you can find on the mountain route, uh, 45, I think it is. This one's the issue, though. Muck over here can minimize. And minimize means you're gonna hit the Pokemon less. And this thing can also hit pretty hard. Um, I don't know if Flame Wheel can burn. You know what? I just, I just remembered I did not teach, uh, I did not teach Earthquake. <laughs> I mean, which is, which is unfortunate, because one Earthquake probably would have defeated this, or defeated, yeah, defeated this thing. Maybe I'll get through here, though. We'll see. Okay. We're doing fine here. Haven't even taken poison damage. Crobat can be tough. Uh, Crobat has, actually has quite a lot of uh, special defense. And he'll do this. Uh, do, does the guide even mention? He really should mention all these, like, you know, um, evasive moves. You know, evasiveness moves. And he can't even earthquake this thing. It's flying in the air. Uh, and I don't even have, like, Swift or anything. But I'm hitting so far. <clears throat> Good job, Infernus. You did what you needed to do. Good job. Uh, do I... No, 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 no. No, that thing has Toxic. I... I 
I think this is a good idea. I think one body slam should do it, right? Maybe confuse Ray. And prevent, uh, like one of those, um, evasiveness things. Super annoying. Believe me. There we go. Maybe now it won't, uh, it'll hit itself instead of doing the, uh, double team. That might have been it. <laughs> okay. I forget how many double teams it did. One or two. So, this is manageable, I think. Mm. We got paralysis, so... It's even less likely to hit. And we're good. Okay, another body slam. I think this guy has that other bug type, right? I think he has three. Yeah, Venomoth. It might have Psychic or something. Kind of an issue. I just put up a barrier. I don't expect... Oh no, it's Psychic, yeah. I can recover this, though. I uh, Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> I prefer not to use items in battle unless it's really necessary like as I mentioned the champion the champion is very very hard and I will probably use one or two items when fighting him just just to be safe because <laughs> you know it's that dragon master Alright, this is not working. Let's just 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 hit just hit it. Oh my lips are chapped. It keeps happening and it's so annoying. And maybe that's just how I am. Uh, I haven't used pollen yet. But that thing is probably not gonna get leech seeded. So Chucky, I guess? Do some good uh, rollouts and get toxic. Well, at least this thing probably doesn't have double team. I mean, knowing this guy, he probably has double team on that thing anyway. Or supersonic. That could really get in the way too, but at least it's not very accurate. So, there's that. <laughs> crack something. My bones are weak and brittle. Well, not, not brittle, they're just aching a little bit. It's fine. Anyway, um, we won. And I guess that, that's the whole episode. I don't know how I'm going to edit this, because there's just so much to it. Uh-huh. Alright, um, I don't really need to heal, I think. And the next next one I can handle easily enough, I think. But then again, I could just heal anyway. Nah, I'll, 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 I'll save it for after this guy. So, this person is another returning member of the Elite Four. It's Bruno. So, he specializes in fighting types and, um... And also, like, a, like an Onyx. And maybe two. So... Oh, I, <laughs> I picked the wrong one, so that's... That's fine. That's a good turn to use the wrong move. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Bruno. Unlike Koga, Bruno won't try to mess with your Pokemon's status. Instead, he will use Pokemon that strike hard and fast, hoping to knock your team out quickly and painfully. If you have a fast Psychic type, use it to put the hurt on most of Bruno's team. 
use a water type on Onyx, the only non-fighting type in Bruno's team. Yes, uh, Bruno is um, quite a simple one. Dude, you're just wasting time with this one. Honestly. But I, I, I get it. He doesn't want to use a, a not very effective move. Maybe the game calculates, you know? It's like, okay, well, you know what? We have Quick Attack and we have Psychic. Psychic is not very effective, but, you know, Quick Attack is Quick Attack, right? You know, so... Might as well. Uh, might as well just uh, counter, I guess. This uh, the strategy won't work for long, though. It's a bit concerning. But Jackal Ogus, I think, is defeated, so we don't have to. Well, well, let me see. We got Pollen. Yeah, Pollen. Is... Yeah, yeah. We're fine. We're fine. Pollen can um, can handle like the next like one of the Pokemon, unless it gets rock slided. That's scary. My eye is itchy. I think I have allergies. Which, I guess they're not so strong now that it's like midsummer, Late summer, maybe? Um, so, yeah. Fire Punch. Okay, I should have... I, I should have seen that coming. Because Hitmochan tend to have all those... All those different punches. So, yeah, let's... let's we're, we're going down to this thing. So I need to choose something besides Pollen because those punches will hurt. Um, Eddie Joseph time, I guess. We can fly into it, that'll be great. I can do some good damage and the fire punch won't hurt too much. Oh, there we go. Maybe this will be it. I'll, that's just it with the battle, you know? Uh, oh boy, we got my champ. So this thing might have Rock Slide. I know in one game of the series... Yeah, yeah, so... This is this started the trend of these fighting types having Rock Slide. It, it keeps happening. Like, you see a... a, a well, not, a, not even a Machamp. A uh, Machoke. And it goes for the Rock Slide. And now we have to rely on hitting two flies. I think they're 90% accurate or... Yeah, 70 power and 90 accuracy. So, yeah. Um, I don't think we're going to survive this one. That's quadruple effective. Alright. Um... I could use rest. I think, uh, you know, let's just try this out, you know? Okay, we're getting hit by a cross chop. It's fine, you know, we can take a hit. <laughs> Definitely, apparently. So this is rest. I could have given this a, um, a berry of some sort that I forget, the, the mint berry. Uh, okay, uh, foresight. I don't know why. I don't know how and I don't know why. It'll take a uh, one or two turns, maybe? For Shucky to- Oh my god, why do you have to get a critical hit? Um... Maybe I will use an item. <laughs> oh... The pain. The pain from the battle. Alright. Um, yeah, um, not not a max survive, but, but uh, I just have to think what's best. Well, no, uh, bead. It's got it's got to be bead. Who else but bead? Honestly, um, I genuinely do not know. Well, there you have it. Rock slide missed. Let's. I guess we might as well leech seed, right? You know, we can do that. You know, I, I was thinking, like, there is indeed a chance that, uh, 
those rock slides miss. Will it miss three times in a row, though? No. Will it defeat me, though? It's It doesn't have same type attack bonus. <laughs> I did not need to use that revive. Fantastic. Although I might have needed to because... Um, there's one more Pokemon here, of course. But I have a Synthesis, and I'm probably faster than it. So let's heal on up. I think... Oh, it's evening time, so we uh, won't heal up as much as I would like. Um, you know what? Maybe put a leech seed on. Luckily, that hit. That's what I like to see. Oh, but the, it has it does the thing after. Okay. All right. Uh, well, it's up to you, Bead. I think we. I, I think we're good. We're, we can. We can counter. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, if you're gonna do that, then I'm gonna use a bitter berry, because that is rude. Very rude. Oh my goodness. I can't even can't even counter when I can't counter. That's just absurd. Uh I have no bitter berries. Alright, well we're gonna just take our chances, I guess. I have a hyper potion and I'm not afraid to use it. Would you please not do that? Please! You already got one critical hit. That might do it, though. Okay. <laughs> Alright, one item used. I don't like to use items in battle. I really should have healed up before battle. If I did, then I wouldn't have done that, but that's okay. Whatever. Alright, but now I absolutely have to heal up. 